Hi guys, this is your host Tom Strong, and um, I'm gonna do another voiceover. And this time, it's a duel between uh, Mythos Ruler and uh, Yives. They have picked uh, random civilizations, and Yives has just uh, he got the Iberians, and Mythos Ruler got the Carthusians. And uh, I never played this map before. It's called uh, the Caspian Seas, I think. Yep, and this is the first match uh, that I'm trying to develop development overlay. Just gonna do a quick uh, overview of uh, both players' base. You can see that um, well, the Ive has a as a standard uh, the Baron's base. He already has a farm going on. Um, now it's interesting that this map doesn't have bushes or, or grapes. But uh, he has a couple of um, deers running around, and uh, as you can see that, uh, and also some sheep. You can see that Yav is already using some of his uh, cavalry skirmisher to gather from from this sheep. We also have a uh, zebra, which is a new unit to to me. I never seen zebra before. And uh, let me check. Uh, now my two space. Yes, yeah, some cavalry working on the on the deer, and some of on the sheep. He already has a storehouse here, and um, putting all these uh, foot units on the wood. Let me check out this uh, this unit. This uh, tree name is called the Alipu pine tree. It has two two hundred wood. It's interesting to know that this game has a lot of uh, types of trees uh, with so many variations in the, the in the resource amount. And uh, I'm just gonna do an overview of the map. At the north, we have the the metal deposits and some some wild beasts going on, and also some lions. Yep along with some deer some pine trees so in the mid in the north we have the metal deposits and let me check out the middle of the map we have some uh, some fish and we can see that the uh, mythus is trying to gain um water control early in the game in the game which I think is a good move because uh, he can use um the water to rest some of uh, Yive's units. I think he will. No, he's uh, using his uh, gathering. He's gathering wood from the from his backyard instead of from the middle. But in the future, we we will see that uh, Mythus will harass uh, Yive's uh, units here on the shoreline. So I think this aggressive uh, first move by Mythus uh, is is pretty good. Let me check out the rest of the map. Yeah, but this map has a uh, has a lot of uh, metal at the outside. And I must. Uh, oh, you can see that we have here a giraffe, an adult. And, uh, We have a new type of guy here. It's called the boar. I never seen a boar. Well, it's interesting. Now this map is a skirmish map, so that means that uh, it is not random. It's a static map. Uh, let me check out the south. The side of the map. Uh, Uh, you can see that this map uh, indeed has bushes, but they are a little far away from the main base. And here we can see also, oh, we can see a, a, an African elephant, the infant version. We have the adult and the infant. It's pretty cool. We have the boar here. The sheep.
pretty interesting map. Uh, um, you can see that the Maithus has already some um, some fishing boats working on the water, and I'm just gonna test out the development overlay. Promote. Uh, And right now I can change the perspective of each player. Now this is interesting. Oh yeah. So Mythus uh, hasn't uh, discovered the hive space as of now. Uh, he doesn't even know if uh, Yives is already on the water. And let me check uh, Yives, Yives' perspective. Uh, just confine it to his base. Is not really uh, trying to gain the water control. Just pretty interesting as the water is, uh, as the central lake is, uh, is uh, right next to his base. Mythus is successfully scouting the map. Now this, this, uh, I don't know exactly the the. The gathering rate for these fish boats, but um, if um, Mighty has a water control, he will be successfully just extract this uh, this food from the water with uh, with no with no effort. You can see that uh, Mighty is starting to gather this me uh, metal mine here. And he also starting to gather this uh, this stone here by uh, building a storehouse near it. Let me check uh, Yive's perspective. Yeah, he's not really paying much attention to the water, but uh, he has a couple of farms going on. Well, I think that Mythus is, uh, is expanding more, but uh, Yive's economy is um, let me check Yive's economy right now. Uh, I'm making uh, false assumptions, and but right now I can see both play resources, and you can see that uh, Mythus has uh, 1,000 uh, food, and is just starting to uh, to get unbalanced. Um, maybe he will he will. Uh, I can't turn on the timestamp with development overlay. Oh, I can. So at, at around minute 10, and hopefully Mythos will. Uh, yeah, this has just started town phase. Let me check Yives. Yives. Yeah, it's, um, he's, uh, he's slower in this game. I think he's building um, uh, more units while Mythus uh, has uh, town phase it uh, faster because of the boats. As we could see uh, just uh, a minute before, he had uh, plenty of food. You can see that his food resources are so high. So. I think uh, yeah, Mythos is looking pretty strong right now, and it's just yeah, see? sending some uh, some units here. I think he will attack Yives. You can see that uh, Mythos' um, overview of the map is much much bigger than the uh, Yives. And he also has a lot of uh, a lot of food going on, coming from those boats. He's running right now the shaft mining upgrade and uh, the iron plot, while Yives is uh, running the the wage and mallet. You 
can see that um, yep so yeah has just started the the town phase upgrade uh, one minute and a half uh, later than Mythus and we can see that uh, we should see that Mythus is um, is almost reaching yeah, I have space from the south and Yaius is not uh, expecting this at all well he has a uh, couple units here scouting three horses and he will be able to to see this and hopefully counter no they are no no they won't be able so so you will be totally off guard to uh, and will be surprised by this uh, early attack from Mythus yep my two has just reached the uh, yeah, Yive space and uh, his uh, wall turret are already attacking uh, my two's battalion here. Oh, you can see that Yive is already attacking also my base here. With some uh, cavalry skirmishers. Now this is a uh, good move to use skirmishers because they can retreat faster. Let me check. Let me check Mythus attack here. He's retreating his forces. While also being attacked here by. Uh, By Ives and Yives was fully uh, was uh, fully able to retreat um, Mythu's uh, wood operation. As you can see, he only had woman working. So this is one of the the mistakes people make in this game is to use only a woman. And but uh, well, Mythu's had a lot of food, so why not build? Uh, a lot of women, but as you can see, uh, the women are pretty much pointless against uh, any army, any uh, any type of army. And I'm just uh, gonna change to Yav's perspective, and Yav is continuing to, and he has successfully uh, trapped the Nithu's army here. see that uh, well and here we can see that uh, yes, Yive is just harassing and retreating attacking and retreating with his uh, cavalry skirmishers just generally being a pain in the ass to, to Mythus and uh, Yives have just uh, killed Mythus battalion here at the south let me check uh, Mythus' perspective. Mythus still has water control. Uh, sending some units to, to pick some wood. I think um, Mythus needs to uh, to gain steam in the in, uh, the wood production is and is uh, using his uh, dog here as a drop site. So. I think he will be, be able to regain that wood control only if uh, Yives doesn't attack because Mythus doesn't have any type of unit to counter that. And we can see that uh, y Yives is returning with his, with his uh, cavalry and is uh, harassing again. Mythus is a woman. Now this type of attack is um, very um, very upsetting because we can't uh, counter with anything. And um, let me check my this. Can scroll. Oh, he has the yes.
we can see that uh, yeah, Mythos is sending some uh, some Libyan Spearman to counter this. And I don't don't think Yavs is expecting this from the from the from the rear. From the back, sorry. And I think those cavalry will be no Yavs is retreating. It will be uh, harder for the spearman yeah, to catch see? these horses, of course. Uh, and Mythus just needs to build some cavalry. And here we can see that uh, Yavs is continuing to harass uh, Mythus. that uh, Mythus has a lot of food coming from the boats he doesn't even need these farms here let me check out Gaive's perspective Gaive has uh, already a lot of food also for coming from these farms and I think he will be building a dock pretty soon nope and as usual he's a uh, mass uh, mass gathering from from the mines Just trying to micro this harassment here. Yes, the Russell. Oh, it seems I can control the units. So I need to be careful with that. You can see that Yavis is expanding his population limit. Uh, Yavs at this time is doing uh, any type of harassment. Uh, well, if uh, if Mythus had a warship here, he could harass this uh, this operation here by Yavs. And Yavs is uh, just starting to build his first dock. And I don't think that Mythus has any battleship on the water. Nope. We can see that uh, that might already has. Uh, yeah, see? Let me check out the class of this. Some ranged cavalry skirmisher to counter uh, Yive's harassment, and he's doing the same. I think he will doing the same. But I don't think that he knows that uh, Yive still has his units. Here in his backyard, attacking right now his house. Let me check out. Uh, Meat is gonna harass some of Yive's units right now. So, this is what Mythus should have done earlier. Oh, just scouting. And uh, putting this, uh, these units in a weak position here. And as we can see, the that Yives uh, only has uh, citizen soldiers here. So this uh, this arrestment will be will not be that successful. Yeah, Mathus has just started the the city phase. Let me check Yives. Yives is still in town phase, and he has so many resources right now, as you can see. While Mathus uh, is has about half the resources. <laughs> And you can see that Yav is already attacking uh, We see these dogs and he has successfully destroyed them Giving uh, Yav his water control here uh, This is 
is called uh, the fire ship and it rapidly drains the health of enemy ships and slowly loses health due to being on fire so use the fire ship quickly so these units uh, are, are always losing HP till they die we can see that um, yes, the IF yes, still yes, has yes, uh, some yes, some cavalry yes. here we can see that in the south, Yav is building his second civic center. Hmm. You can see that uh, Yav is moving his cavalry here. Scouting uh, Maithu's base. <laughs> Let me check out Maithu's perspective. He's running so many upgrades. He's running the the Italiot mercenary general, the silver mining, and the sentries. Starting to build uh, a naval shipyard here. I think it's different from the the dock. This uh, building is called the Cawthon. Let me check yeah, out. Uh, let me check out. Well, we can uh, build the mighty warships. I never seen this. And we can see that Might is sending some units here up in the north and is building a civic center here. So, now that I think about it, uh, Maithu's plan to build here a civic center is better than Yives building in the south. Because in the in the in the, in the north we have uh, more metal, more metal mines. In the south we don't. Oh, actually we have some. Just two. No, we actually have three. Let me check out the guy uh, overview. Yeah, I think it's equal. But in the north we have uh, no. It's equal. Yep. Let me check out me too so we can see that uh yeah his worship uh, destroyed the uh, Maithu's uh, naval shipyard both players are starting to get a, a massive amount of resources so we should start seeing some epic battles going on pretty soon. Let me check out Eve's resources. And Eve has uh, more than 7,000 food, which is uh, enough for the rest of the game. Yavs is starting to build um, a defense tower here and, and he just uh, by building this civic center here he just closes the, the side of the map I think let me check out the Gaia map no. yes he has done it he uses the, the, these mountains here to to close uh, this area for him is gonna extract this uh, stone mine here I 
I think Yave has just reached the city phase, yes. While my Thuz is... is uh... Nope, my Thuz is already in the city phase too. Let me check Yives again. And Yives is building his third uh, civic center here in the south. Close to these uh, two mines. You can see that uh, Mythus is uh, building a defensive tower here and Yav is harassing him. Also, let me check out what uh, Mythus is building there. He's building a barracks. And also an Iberian emb embassy. discover the the first uh, Mythus castle I think he will launch an attack is pretty close to Ives base um, and uh, let me check what Ives is doing here he's also building a castle expecting a Mythus attack here Seems that uh, Yives hasn't any units on the water. Let me check what Mightis is doing. I think he'll try to build another dock here. Nope. Maybe he's using his defensive tower to build a dock here. Yes. Well, and player 4 has been defeated, which was a dummy player. And uh, Mightis is gathering a huge amount of, of units here. And he's gonna attack right now. Yive has built here a civic. Oh, what the hell happened? No, that is my. Yes. This was mine, I think. And the might is sending some units. sending this little army and uh, being sneaky and trying to uh, to attack uh, Yives from behind we can see that uh, Yive is starting to build here another civic center in the, he has a lot of units at this point Mythos is uh, starting to gain speed and uh, trying to build another defensive tower here. He also has uh, four more of these defensive towers here. And he's also building a barracks. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how Yives will be surprised to this attack. I think um, Mythus could take take this uh, this civic center from Yives here. Let me check out another Mythus space. Another problem for Mike is that he has reached his maximum population, and uh, when you have uh, these types of uh, 
of uh, battles going on. It's, uh, it's a bit of a it makes the the game much harder to play. We can see that uh, Yavi is building here a castle. Yes, yes, see. And Midas is trying to, to put a stop onto that. And you can see that Yav is already trying to attack the to attack this uh, this position here, hold it by by Mythus, but uh, he won't be able to do much. a uh, bad move by Ice, he has just stopped at uh, the... Nope, he just uh, resumed building this castle here. We can see that uh, Yav is attacking this castle pretty strong. I think Midas should, uh, should move this army here quick. Mythus is spreading his territory all over the map. Mythus is retreating from this position and uh, trying to build a castle here. Right now, Mythus is sending this, uh, this battalion here and attacking Ives from behind. Attacking these houses. Um, we can see that uh, Yav has successfully destroyed the uh, Mythus castle here, but uh, he's not expecting this uh, his attack from Mythus right at his base. As you can see, he's not doing anything right now. But uh, he has uh, a lot of houses already, so. We can see that uh, Mythus is uh, using some uh, some siege catapults to harass uh, Yive's uh, position here. He has two. I think it's two of them. Yes, he has two. Let me check out this battle here. You can see that Yav is already a uh, reply to, to Midas' attack here, and he successfully uh, killed this uh, this force here. Continuing on with uh, Midas' progress here in the north. This unit, uh, this unit is called uh, the Trader. Oh, he's already using the Traders. Okay. You 
can see a trade route going on. And let me just check uh, the amount of resources. 25 metal, which is a which is a nice help for the for the overall economy. As Mythus doesn't have many metal. Let me check out Yive's resources. Yive has just so many resources. It has more than 3,000 metal right now. And is um, trying to push this position, but uh, might is uh, catapults are doing so much damage as they are protected by the by these uh, archers here in the defensive towers. You can see that uh, Mythos is attacking this uh, this battle ram with uh, with this woman. Now this interesting feature: uh, the woman can only attack. Uh, siege equipment and um, another woman, I think. We can see that Yav is uh, pushing his uh, his army up to uh, Mitu's base, and I think that this defensive tower will be destroyed. Yes. Also, this one too. Mitu is running the the Yav is running the armor plating. Yav is building another civic center here and trying to gain a, a whole of the north part of the map. He's expecting a, yep, another position here. Let me check uh, Michael's force here. He has, he, well, he has uh, some units in the castle with garrison, with some garrison uh, soldiers. But uh, if uh, Yav is a uh, if Yav uh, successfully destroys this castle, he will be able to uh, to destroy this trade route here by by Mythus. Mitus needs to to build some cavalry to counter these rams. Let me check out his response at the south. Yes, yeah, As we can see, uh, yeah, there's so many rams right now. You can see some idle workers here. Yeah, he's just starting to uh, to attack the civic center here, and I think the situation is pretty weak for my for Mythus. Yak is uh, is expanding quickly. He's finishing building here civic center, and he also has built another here. You can see that uh, Yive's army is pretty diverse. He has uh, archers, um, skirmishers, he has slingers, swordsmen, rams, and uh, some priests. He is already using some priests to, to heal some of his units. Oh, the priests are actually a woman. You can see that he's gaining experience. Check. While in the Yaiva yeah, successfully destroyed civic center of Mythos here in the north. Yaiva yeah, has reached his population limit. While Mythos. He's, uh, he's at only half of that. So in here you can see that the pretty imbalance of the of the game for Mitus and uh, Yav is looking pretty strong. Mitus just hasn't any wood or stone. 
while the IV is so many so many resources right now I don't think that Mythus will be able to win this match some unit and the IV is building another civic center here while Mythus is uh, building another here See that the Ives of veteran Rams have uh, reached the Mythus base. You can see that the Ives is returning his battle Rams and. Yeah, uh, see. And using some skirmishers. Just finish it building his castle here, right next to Mythus base. So the situation is looking pretty bad for Mythus at this time. He doesn't have many resources. He can't build uh, defensive towers because he has. He doesn't have uh, stone. Siege catapults to destroy the civic center. Yeah, if he's gonna attack this market here and destroy um, my uh, trade route. Whose trade route is destroyed? Yeah, so let me see what Yav is doing with his uh, with his army here. He's trying to find uh, trying to find another civic center, and he just discovered here. He's, I think he's just gonna attack it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I guess just destroy another another civic center here. And Lightis is attacking these uh, battering ramps with woman. Uh, out of revenge, I think. <laughs> So, uh, Mythus is uh, back at this base here. Situation is looking pretty bad for him. As uh, Yaiv has, has continued to march uh, with his battering rams, and uh, here we have Mythus using his woman to battle the siege, siege equipment. whose base is being obliterated by Yipes, battering rams, uh, he doesn't have many resources, I don't think he will be able to to regain control of this map. We can see that Yaiv is uh, starting to attack his main civic center, with his battering rams, but Mythis is rebuilding here at the south, he has just built a um, the civic center and he's building a market. He's also building a barracks and a storehouse to gather this metal mine. Uh, I don't think it will do much. But He's also building a, a Celtic embassy here. And, uh, and uh, we will see the type of types of units that he can uh, he build here. So he can uh, train um, the infantry swordsmen, call it the Gallic mercenary swordsmen. And he also can train uh, Malik Cavalry Swordsmen. They just cost metal, they don't cost food. And, and uh, Mythus has a reasonable amount of iron, not much, but uh, some. I think that he's using his market to trade and uh, gather some, some metal. Building uh, some houses here fast because he can't he can't train units as he has reached the maximum population limit. Here we can see that he is uh, evacuating some of these women. And uh, we will 
start seeing some uh, some of these uh, Celtic units being trained soon enough. Let me check what if he's doing. He already knows what uh, what uh, Mythus is doing, and he's sending his army, sending his army to uh, Mythus' new base here. Mythus won't be able to reply to this, and he just uh, has just resigned and left the game. players have exited the game so this was a uh, let me check out the resources resources uh, page at the end so here we could see that uh, Yais was a uh, was a little faster at the economy game and just expanded uh, more rapidly while using his rams to destroy uh, several of uh, Mythus buildings across the, across the map and uh, Mythus wasn't able to successfully counter that and uh, he also hasn't built any type of uh, siege equipment some catapults but uh, he didn't even try to destroy some of the Ives building so let me check out uh, the scores. So we have uh, yeah, it's with a lot, of, with a lot of food production. Yep, almost double. We can see that uh, yeah, it's picking the way more resources than Mythus. Let me check out the trade. So, this uh, marks the end of this video, I hope you guys have liked it, uh, I'll do more of these videos in the future, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys next video.